today we are going to go exploring and we are going to check out those neighborhoods a lot of you have been reaching out to me and you've been asking me hey ryan what neighborhoods are dd2 schools so today we are going to go exploring and we are going to check out those neighborhoods first one on our list is going to be limehouse village so this is new construction also also pre-owned and then the ponds the ponds just wrapped up construction of their final really the one of the final homes in there if you're not looking to move into the 55 plus and then you do have watson hill watson hill has pre-owned and spec inventory for move-in ready product as well okay but before we head out i need a car wash there is a time of the year for about two to three weeks where we have what's called pollen season and you may not have purchased a yellow car but check this out you see all that look how gross that is Ow! and it is all over that's why we have so many darn car washes so we're gonna hit up the car wash and then we're gonna head over to limehouse village the wash. we are here in limehouse village this particular neighborhood look at the houses behind me how cool is that a lot of carolina style housing here you're gonna see the double front porches is a big big thing here hoa is 680 annually isn't that awesome 680 bucks annually comes with a pool amenity center all the good stuff dog parks got a lot of walking trails around here and then you're zoned for beach hill greg and somerville high so you're in that dd2 area they do have a ton of pre-owned homes here but the new construction is selling just as well. Um, Lennar is the builder in this neighborhood. A lot of their homes here resemble what kind of homes you would actually get in Summer's Corner. You're gonna find house, houses here in the high 390s. And you're also gonna be, if you need a big house, and they do have big houses here, five, six bedroom houses, you're gonna be in the low fours to mid fours. So ultimately, this is gonna be a quieter neighborhood. It's not as large scale as Summer's Corner is. Um, I would say this is very comparable to maybe some of Lennar's pocket communities like Cypress Preserve. But I'll tell you what, you're right here on Dorchester Road literally let me turn the camera around boom dorchester road right there so you're close to shopping you're a lot closer to a grocery store here than you are if you are in summer's corner and then the other feature that i absolutely love is that well brooklyn south pizza is literally a mile down the road and if you haven't had brooklyn south pizza you are missing out you blew it the other thing is you are very close to getting to historic Somerville from here. You're only about a five to 10 minute drive to historic Somerville. So you got the Flower Town Festival. You got all those great events. You're going to be right here for it. So let's go in. Let's check out the model home they have here. Lennar has here uh, in Limehouse Village. And then I'm going to drive you through and show you some of the lots and where they're putting these houses and just show you the whole neighborhood. So those are all wooded and cul-de-sac. Yes. Love it. Like our nicest, biggest houses on the nicest lots are like right at five. Cool. Um, but small community, it's only about 550 total homes. Pool, playground, trails, lots of woods. That's kind of a big thing. And then one exciting thing is the Berlin G. Myers Parkway is going to be extended behind the neighborhood. Oh, is that where it's going? Yeah. So the last little stretch, which goes from 17A over here. Yep. Um, is just right behind us. Oh, so and nice. so eventually there'll be another entrance that'll just go right out onto that. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll head over and start getting some video footage. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. If I have any questions, I'll come back. Thanks again. It was good seeing you. You too. Thank All right. You. I'll see you when I leave. Okay. That's Lenar. It's Holly. She's pretty cool. Holly is, will help you, but you still need me. You still need a buyer agent. All right, let's check out the Rutledge. So big, it's so nice in here. Kind of like, kind of like Borat, you know? I am king of the castle, king of the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. Oh, go do this, go do this, king in the castle. That's the master bedroom. You like it? Do you not like it? Eh, it's up to you. Now let's go check out the other part of this house that I know you guys love, kitchen. Now this is not a gourmet option, kitchen option, but you do have the quartz counters, the actual real wood cabinets with soft clothes. There isn't a person alive who doesn't love soft clothes drawers. 
but then you've got your regular gas cooktop with your microwave over. Nice sized living room here. You know, if you're a big family, I don't think this living room would work if you're, you know, have a ton of kids. It works for maybe like, you know, a couple. See, they've already got just the two chair, stair, bleh. The two chair setup. Wow, I'm having a hard time talking today. Nice pantry. So a home like this, you're right about 410. Got your powder bathroom. Got your laundry, drop zone. So again, this is a part of their row collection. So the garage will be detached and in the back. Love the loft, huge loft space. This makes up for that tiny as shit living room. Bedroom number one upstairs. It's definitely cute, small. I feel like I'm in the Wizard of Oz. The sands of time. Secondary bathroom upstairs, two double vanity, but I like they put a door on here. So if somebody wants to take a shower, the other person wants to brush their teeth, they got the privacy to do it. Nice size secondary bedroom. Same thing with this bedroom. Everybody asks about the Smurf door. This is how you access your attic and all your mechanicals. So we've seen the model home. Let's go check out the rest of the neighborhood. So we're entering Limehouse Village's new phase. Uh, this is a newer part of the neighborhood. It's kind of tucked back a little bit back here. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys to show you where they're building a lot of these houses. So this is their, their last of their row models. So if you like the Rutledge and you wanted to, you know, have the Rutledge style, they have them here. Look, look at how nice this is. You got a kind of a natural parkway that's not gonna go away, a little bit of tree buffer, a little bit smaller lots. That's what you can expect from the row collection. This person who is on this corner lot right here got lucky. They have one of the larger lots with nobody on either side of them. So they're still building here in Limehouse. They're selling five houses a week in this neighborhood. So if you're looking to get in somewhere between 390 and 450, this is it. I wanna take a look at something real quick. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a view of what these houses look like while they're building them. Doesn't matter if it's Lenore, DR Horton, Beezer, any of them. You wanna make sure you have a pre-drywall inspection. That is the current status of this home. This home's probably maybe a couple weeks away, but still would have a pre-drywall inspection this way to make sure that everything that was done on the home was done correctly and by the book. That's the most important part. Okay, so if you're looking for a five bedroom home, four baths, three and a half baths, you need to check out Limehouse Village, 430-995. And that's, that's before any type of like incentive, lender incentive, that's before any of that stuff. So 430-995. If you want to get into something a little bit smaller, a three bedroom, two and a half bath, maybe a row home, you're looking at 390. That's incredible, guys. HOA is 680 a year, and not to mention your zone DD2 over here. So a lot of people always call me up and say, Ryan, we want to be in DD2. We just don't know where to look. Well, here's a perfect neighborhood for you. If you've been sticking around and you're watching uh, and you just got done watching Limehouse Village, you'll know that we're still in Dorchester District 2, and now we are headed to a neighborhood called The Ponds. Now, The Ponds is a beautiful master plan community that has absolute beautiful tea plantation feel. It's, it used to be an old tea plantation that they converted into a master plan community for neighborhoods. It's so beautiful. Um, the, the trees, the the oaks, and, and there's two parts of it. There's, there's a historic kind of looking part that looks mature because the houses have been there for a while. And then there is the newer part of the ponds where the homes are a little bit newer. And maybe, hey, maybe that's where you wanna be because you like a newer built home. Um, because some of these houses, I've been here 10, 12 plus years. Uh, as you, as we first drive in, there's actually um, a small set of homes that will line this roadway. This is called Hundred Oaks Parkway. And you'll see these are kind of some initial homes. These were like the model homes 
of the neighborhood. When they were building the ponds, I think the idea was it for it to be a lot larger than what it is today. Um, I, that, at least that's what I think. I'm not 100% sure, but they got a little amphitheater here that overlooks the water, the big giant pond. You can go kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding in there. I don't know if I would just, you know, you never know a gator or two might pop up. What did you just say? <laughs> they got a lot of stuff here. This is the little roundabout. And keep in mind, we're still driving into the neighborhood. So if your home, you know, is built back here, it may take a few minutes just to get back here. They do have the YMCA right at the front of the neighborhood next to an emergency uh, medical services, EMS and fire station. So will make you feel good that those, those services are here. And then we have another row of homes that were used kind of similar, like another, um, kind of like another model row, but these were actually homes that were sold to people. And now we're entering the part of the neighborhood where I think a lot of people will ooh and ah, because of all the mature tree lines, you've got, you know, these big, beautiful Southern style looking homes. Like, look at that house over there. Look how big that house is. Huge, beautiful home right here in the ponds. And then this is their farmhouse social center. So we're gonna pull in here. Okay guys, so right over here is their little beating gathering house. Um, you've got your pool over here, which is is gated in. They do have a ponds tree house and playground. This is really cool. Again, all of this is surrounded by these massive oak trees, which is beautiful. Right now, the only new building that they're doing in this neighborhood is gonna be in the 55 plus community and again this is zone dorchester district too so if you're thinking like hey schools are important to us um we're not sure new construction is the right way to go but we want to at least be in that dd2 and also be somewhere where we feel that it looks mature i mean look around me it's it's pretty nice this is like your social hangout so this is what your HOA pays for. You've got the big great lawn over there. So you got food truck rodeos, things like that, events that happen here in the ponds. You've got all these really nice grills, cooking areas. And it looks like they got a little homeschool schooling going on. A um, lot of big homeschoolers in these areas. Now I'm gonna take you guys to the newer section, kind of show you what I mean by a little bit of a newer section. It's not as mature tree lined as this. Definitely has a little bit more of an older look, but again, DD2 schools are important to you. Budget's also important to you. Let me tell you what you're looking at to live in the ponds. So if you wanna buy a home here, one of the newer ones, you can get in here roughly about 490, 505, somewhere in that vicinity. Let's say you want one of those beautiful houses on 100 Oaks uh, Parkway. You're looking at 650 to almost 700, but those are huge houses. Those are 3,500 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half baths. Like it is a monster house, but you're looking closer to 700. The best part is you're still zoned Sand Hill, Greg Middle, and Somerville High. And your HOA here, it's not that bad. 790 annually, that's pretty darn good. Let's do this. Let's finish the tour of the neighborhood and then we're gonna talk about some other homes in here and what they cost. So stick around. As we continue to drive down this Oakview way, uh, you're gonna notice the houses are gonna start looking a little different. That's because each street and each section in here was built literally by a different builder. So you've got Dan Ryan in here, you've got Crescent that built in here for some years, you've got DR Horton, um, David Weekly, Homes by Dickerson. <laughs> I mean, like this neighborhood, I think has literally had almost every single home builder uh, in here. So all of these houses to get here, it's one way in and one way out. And if you live in the newer phase, the newer section, you're even farther in. You're a 12 minute drive through all of this just to get to your home. Now, some of you might be saying, well, Ryan, that's not, not really a concern. We don't really leave the neighborhood very often. But if you're gonna be someone commuting and you have to drive through this every single day and it's one way in, one way out, and you really don't have any other options, I don't know about you, but that could make me go a little crazy. There's definitely a huge aesthetic difference between these homes and the ones up front, you know, the ones at the beginning of ponds. Like, and I, and I know these are newer 
and they pretty much had to clear cut a lot of the trees to get them in here. But at the end of the day, I think I would have still preferred to have the overall natural look. Definitely some nice looking homes in here. So these pre-owned newer homes, these are going for, and ready for the drum roll, since you guys stuck around to the very end, I'm gonna give you the price. These homes, and one of them right now is for sale. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. It's a DR Horton. It has a uh, really big expanded uh, loft off the back. It's kind of like over the garage. So it's a, it's essentially a frog. So that particular home right here in the ponds is listed for 598. So if you want to get into this neighborhood, you want to be in the DD2 schools and you want to kind of live in a more mature tree line neighborhood. Well, then this is it. You got to give me a call. You got to give my team a call. We can help you. We can get you into some of these pre-owned homes. We can walk you through we can point out some very important things we have the knowledge the neighborhood knowledge that i think a lot of people need when you're relocating here especially to a neighborhood much like the ponds where there is no more new construction we are now headed to our third dorchester district 2 neighborhood that is watson hill we're going to actually walk the model home and their neighborhood is located right off 61. now if you don't know anything about 61 61 is your straight shot from somerville downtown west ashley to downtown charleston but uh, 61 is a two-lane road we're on it as we speak and you can kind of tell it moves pretty quickly it's it's about you know everybody does about 60 miles per hour on this road uh though if there is an accident this road's gonna shut down really really quickly right now we are turning into watson hill by ashton woods this is a ashton woods community and i will say this from a location standpoint and pocket community standpoint this is a really nice neighborhood uh, i definitely like the fact that it's not gonna be a massive master plan community where there's just so much. Um, let's check out the Ashton Woods uh, model right here. And if you guys stick to the end, I'm gonna tell you how much a home costs in Watson Hill. But before I do that, I'm gonna tease you a little bit, just, just a little bit. If we are purchasing Watson Hill, now remember there's two products. There's, there is the Watson Hill by Ashton Woods, okay? And then there is the Watson Hill by Starlight Homes. And if you don't know much about Starlight, they're kind of the cheaper version of Ashton Woods. That's not nice to say, but look. Yeah, that's really the only nice way to say it. I mean, it's the truth. The, some of these homes are like really, really basic, um, but a uh, home in Watson Hill can take you anywhere from 328 up to 530. So we're gonna walk in, check out this beautiful home. This is the Monroe by Ashton Woods. As we enter through here, love the vaulted ceiling, love tall fireplace and all the windows. So some of these floor plans, I've seen them done where they don't have the windows up there, but as you can tell, it makes a huge difference when it comes to lighting. And this is one of my favorite floor plans that Ashton Woods has because it's not only are you open down here, but the kitchen just pulls everything together really nicely. You got this beautiful quartz countertop. I love the two-tone, I love the wood, and then the white, and then of course you got your big five burner cooktop. And then we go into the big master bedroom, which is a good size. Love the color of the countertops up here. Really, really like the shower. Okay, so we're now gonna go check out Starlight Homes model here in Watson Hill. We just got done checking out Ashton Woods model. And I gotta tell you guys, I got the pricing right in my hands. I'm gonna tell you exactly at the end of the video how much 
it is going to cost you to purchase that Monroe here in Watson Hill. So sit tight, sit back, let's go check out the other house. Home right here. And as you can tell, um, you've got hard, the hard flooring, you've got granite countertops. So the big difference between this and your, your Ashton Woods is you're gonna see some variations in, in different materials used, but definitely got your electric cooktop. I like the vault in the ceiling, gives it a little bit of a taller feel in here, lots and lots and lots of light. This back here, which would be your master bedroom. And then another half full bathroom there. Got a hallway linen closet. Awesome, I appreciate your help. Cool, man. Thank you. Yes, sir, you appreciate it. Appreciate that Gmail. Awesome, thanks again. Have a good one. Hey, have a good one. So I couldn't say it because there were like three salespeople in that home, which is supposed to be their sales center, but it's not set up like a model home. It's more of like home set up like a sales center. But let me say this, I don't get it. When I say I don't get it, I don't, get how some people are spending 328,000 for that. Those houses are probably, and, and I'm not saying probably, I mean, those houses have to be about 30 to 40,000 overpriced. Hello? So we have a big problem. Uh-oh, what? All of a sudden the dryer or the washer just started smoking. Oh no. I mean, my, the entire hallway is full of smoke. Do you know which one it is? The washer stopped working, so I'm thinking it might be the washer. Yeah, it probably just burned up. I'll be home in a little bit. All right. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Real life shit right there, folks. That sucks. I gotta go home and deal with that. I was not a fan of those houses. I think they're $40,000 overpriced. Now, when you get this kind of amenity center, you guys got an awesome pool here. Not only do you have a great pool here, but you do have walking trails. You've got an awesome playground I saw they're putting up. They've got the outdoor grills. So there's a lot of pros to living in a neighborhood very much like this with Watson Hill. I would personally go with the Ashton Woods. What were your guys' thoughts? I mean, you saw some of the clips that I took in there. It was whew, rough. Let me know what you think. Maybe you liked it. Now it's time for me to tell you how much that Monroe was by Ashton Woods. Are you ready? Drum roll. To replicate that Monroe with the study, ready? You're at 545,605, $800 a year for HOA. And if you wanted to go bigger than that, they have a Roosevelt, but they're completely sold out of the Roosevelt and their Jefferson, which is a little bit smaller, but bit than the, the Roosevelt, that's going to be ready in May. That's 564,990. And I was talking to the sales gentleman and he was telling me that they're going to have to release more lots because they're just selling out of these houses. They're selling like hotcakes right now. So which means you guys need to reach out to me. You got to give myself, my team a call. We can help you buy a home here um, and buy it effectively and quickly because it's the name of the game isn't no longer is about like waiting for interest rates to drop. It's who's going to buy the home first. Now I got to go home and probably buy a new washer washing machine me a favor go ahead and click this video if you want to see more neighborhoods much like watson hill limehouse village be sure to hit that subscribe button and reach out you remember if you need help relocating to somerville i've got your back your somerville guru until next time i'll see you guys around